right, welcome aboard. Greetings, friends. You're tuned into The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to resource for all health and nutrition information. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head to brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website and find out for yourself what so many people, thousands, tens of thousands of people, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people have discovered over the last 18 years, the BTT rocks. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine is an amazing, amazing nutritional supplement. Get yourself on the Healthy Start Pack, experience the longevity products for yourself. At least start with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. You could find out all about it at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, so we're talking hormone health. Hormones are the messengers. They're the emissaries from the brain. Uh, per, our whole world is interpreted to the inside of our body via the action of the hormones. It makes them really, really important. There's two kinds. You've got water hormones and fatty hormones. The fatty hormones are also known as the steroid hormones. The fatty hormones are your stress management hormones and your growth and repair hormones and your fertility hormones. Biochemists, and, and most people will call the fatty hormones your steroid hormones. These are all types of cholesterol, and I call them your cholesterol hormones. I, I think that's important to recognize that estrogen and testosterone and bile salts and, hey, Trevor, Trevor, bro, be quiet over there. Um, let's see, uh, where was I here? Progesterone, testosterone, estrogen, vitamin D for that matter. You know, vitamin D is a cholesterol hormone. Bile is a cholesterol substance. Bile is a type of cholesterol. That makes cholesterol, eating it or making it, very important for digestive health. Cholesterol is ridiculously important. If, I'm, if this program if, is remembered for anything, and if I'm remembered for anything, I want it to be for making it clear that cholesterol is your best friend, and anybody who tells you that you need to poison your cholesterol manufacturing system is not very biochemically savvy. That's what I want to be on my tombstone that Ben Fuchs, pharmacist Ben, spread the word about how vital and important cholesterol is and how unfairly maligned the molecule is. Now, I don't mean unfairly to the molecule. I mean unfairly to us. It is maligned at our peril. The fact that we think we have to take a drug to suppress our cholesterol just shows how, how, how bamboozled we are by people who know nothing about biochemistry, or at least, at least in this case, know nothing about biochemistry or worse, who are exploiting the ignorance that we have about biochemistry. Anyway, cholesterol is our best friend, our best biochemical friend. Yes, I'm going to go out on a limb. There's a lot of good biochemicals in the body. There's a lot of important biochemicals in the body. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's none more important than cholesterol. The fact that the steroid hormones are all types of cholesterol and require essential fatty acids for their production makes eating fat really important. Not processed fat, not trans fat, not hydrogenated fat, but quality fats from butter and avocados and nuts. 
And even grains, for that matter, have quality fats in them if they're not over-processed or if they're not processed. Grains actually are pretty darn good foods when it comes down to it, except for one problem. They got things in them that make them anti-nutritional, gluten in particular and gluten-like substances, but others as well. But other than that, grains are great sources of the B vitamins, great sources of protein, great sources of zinc, and great sources of fats. They're pretty much the major source of omega-6 essential fats. So making sure that we're eating enough fat and making sure that we're absorbing our fat, it's not just eating fat. And by the way, I'm not saying that grains are necessarily something you want to eat. I'm just saying from a chemistry standpoint, they've got wonderful nutritional value. Unfortunately, you got to be careful with them. Now, it's not just eating fats as important as it is to eat avocados and, and get your uh, uh, fish oil or fish and grains, et cetera, nuts. But you got to absorb your fats too. And absorbing your fats means you got to have a healthy liver. It means you got to have a healthy intestine. If you got Crohn's disease, celiac disease, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, if you're bloated, you feel bloated after you eat certain foods, if you feel bloated after, after sugary foods or starchy foods, chances are pretty good you're not going to be absorbing your fats. If you've had your gallbladder taken out, chances are really good you're not going to be absorbing your fats. I, for the life of me, I cannot figure out why people are still doing this barbaric surgical procedure. Unless you have a miserable emergency, obviously then you gotta do what you gotta do. But other than that, man, your gallbladder is so darn important. So anyway, you gotta not just take your fats, you gotta make sure you're eating your fats. And this is all to maximize the action of progesterone and estrogen and testosterone and your youth and fertility hormones. If you're aging rapidly, focus on fats. If your skin is thinning, focus on fats. If your bones are thinning, focus on fats. All of these, all of these, uh, all of these health challenges, breakdowns, if you will, are associated with either a lack of fats or fat, lack of fat absorption via this hormone connection. Supplement with your EFAs. I'm telling you, if you want to pick one, Aside from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, if you want to pick one multifunctional supplement, I can't think of one that would be more important than the essential fatty acids. Yeah, the enzymes, uh, ultimate enzymes are multifunctional. Uh, the Biolumin Nightly Essence and the Fucoid Z are multifunctional, but EFAs are essential. That means you can't live without them. And they're incredibly, incredibly multifunctional. If you had to pick one supplement to take, in addition to one essential nutrient to take, in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, I would be using essential fatty acids and your ultimate EFAs or your, or your EFA pluses. And you can't take too many of them, by the way. Nine a day is a good starting point. You could take 18 a day easily. And use your ultimate EFAs with foods. Take your ultimate EFAs with some food because you gotta maximize absorption and there has to be some digestive juices percolating in there, bile particularly. So take your EFAs with foods, especially fatty foods. All right, I'll tell you about some of the signs of EFA deficiency that you didn't know were signs of EFA deficiency when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. back on the bright side got lines open for you at 844-236-6010 we'll get your calls here in our next segment if you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program please head over to brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or you can call the brightside ben phone team at 866-735-2470 866-735-2470 and if you want to join the brightside ben team we'd love to have you on the team just click on the join the team link on the websites or call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 and tell them you want to join the team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business and make money and earn thank you checks, as my friend Rock and Ron calls them, thank you checks. People will be thanking you for turning them on to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, to the Ultimate Enzymes, to the Fucoid Z. And of course, to the ultimate EFAs, 844 or 866 735 2470 is their number. Okay, so if you're uh, thinking about supplementing and you want to start a supplement program, definitely start off with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If you don't want to do the whole healthy start pack, definitely start off with the BTT. But after the BTT, it's the ultimate EFAs. Those are probably, 
it's hard to say, but I, a good case could be made that those are the two most important things to start off with, start your nutritional supplement program off with if you want to just dip your toe in the water. That's because of the incredible multifunctionality of both of those products. The BTT contains all your water-soluble nutrients, and the EFAs, of course, are your major fat-soluble essential nutrients. Between the BTT and the EFAs, you're going to meet much of your, not all, but much of your nutritional needs, your essential nutrient needs. You can tell you got an EFA problem if you're dealing with several health issues. Now, these aren't the only things, but there's a few ways that you can tell you got a deficiency either in absorption or intake, taking them in supplemental fashion or you're not absorbing them. If you have dry skin, for the life of me, I can't figure out why we haven't, haven't dawned on us that our crisis of dry skin is not a skin care product problem. We got so many skincare products out there, moisturizing skincare products, so called moisturizing skincare products that are really nothing but water and wax and oil and filler. And I'm telling you this as somebody who's been formulating those exact kinds of products for 32 years. You wouldn't believe how ridiculously easy and simple and useless a moisturizing product is from a formulating perspective. You take some water, you take some wax, you take some oil and you mix it all up with a, a, what's called an emulsifying agent, and voila, you got yourself an, a moisturizer. It costs about a penny for a, a pound or more of it if you buy it in bulk. Throw in some preservative, throw in some fragrance, slap a label on it, and you got yourself a moisturizing cream. There's nothing about it that's moisturizing. But the reason we use these products is because we're so desperate because our skin is so dry en masse as a culture. It's not just us. It's the whole world. Our skins are dry largely because of problems with fats, especially EFAs, again, intake or absorption. If you have dry skin, you can pretty much assur rest assured you're dealing with an EFA deficiency, at least partially an EFA deficiency. If you crave fatty foods, if you have menstrual cramps or, or PMS issues, if you're a woman, thinning skin is another possible sign of EFA deficiency. Thinning blood vessels is another sign of EFA deficiency. Thinning bones is another sign of potential EFA deficiency. Why are all these thinning, thinning uh, problems, thinning issues associated with EFA deficiency? Because EFAs turn on the production of proteins. They're like igniters. They, at the genetic level, there are the classic epigenetic factor. Epigenetics is a, uh, the science of all of the things that turn on the genetics. This is the problem with the genetic theory. That's why Doc Wallach has been saying for years that it's baloney. And anybody who really understands how genetics works knows that our mythology, our, uh, our uh, understandings about genetics as a culture are mythological. Genes turn on and off, and they turn on and off based on the environment. This is so important. Read Bruce Lipton, The Biology of Belief, classic book. Probably many of you have heard of this. Genes turn on and off based on the environment, and the environment is partially determined by these vitamins and nutrients and essential factors. They're called epigenetic factors. And the genes are reading these epigenetic factors to determine whether, what should be turned on and off, or what should, what should happen, basically. So genetics is obviously the fundamental aspect of how we're made up, but genetics are turned on and off by the environment the genetics, i.e. the cell, is sitting in, and that includes essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids turn on, like a switch, turn on, like ignite, like a match, whatever metaphor you want to use. They turn on the production of protein. That means without them, your, thin, your skin is going to be thin. Without them, your bones are going to be thin. Without them, your blood vessels are going to be thin. Thinning is associated with EFA deficiency. Get on your EFAs and your and your fatty vitamins as well. Make sure you're absorbing them if you want to have, if you notice that your skin is thinning as you get older. I can always tell by looking at someone if they're having an EFA problem, either intake or absorption, by looking at their skin. You can too. If it's crepey, and probably women know what I'm talking about as we get older, our skin turns crepey and thin, and there ain't no moisturizer on the planet that's going to change that, by the way. If you want a topical ingredient, think vitamin C and vitamin A. That's, why, that's basically why I created the truth, was to allow, uh, allow women especially, but all of us really, to have access to the two major topical nutrients for thickening the skin, for making the skin, as I like to say, beefy, bouncy, for giving it texture, 
Essential fatty acids are key players in skin health and, and blood vessel health and bone health and all connective tissue health. If you're trying to get pregnant, essential fatty acids are unbelievable.